Well, hey guys. Well, it is a blistery cold day, and it's a long weekend, holiday. Spent uh, the first two days inside the house doing all kinds of little projects and getting all that punch list out of the way. And uh, the last day is my day, so I'm in the shop. Still got a lot of stuff to do up in here. We're still coordinating, and I'm still getting things organized. But one of the things that uh, uh, is a detriment, I don't know if you can see it, I can see my breath. So it is, it is still cold in here. Now, I just got my fire, fire uh, started over there. And I also have a kerosene heater here on the floor trying to break the cold. Um, it's just, you know, I haven't been up here in weeks. So it's, and it's, it's been cold for three or four days. So it just got real cold. Uh, along, along my seal, uh, the overhang, all that up there is totally open. And then the, the, uh, the soffit has holes in it. Now, originally it was to let the flow of air through to keep this from condensating. Also, we kept uh, uh, in the summer, it wouldn't get too hot. Now I've turned it into a shop. I kind of want to close it off a little bit more. Um, so one of the things I'm going to be doing today is, is I've got some spare leftover. We can see it up there. Yeah, there's the board right there. Some old leftover foil, uh, foil board, 4 by 8 from back when I used to do Halloween, and that used to be what the... Used to be what my alien spaceship was made of. Really cool. And uh, I'm going to cut that into strips, uh, maybe about two feet by whatever whatever the distance is between, uh, you know, between my rafter there and my side over here, whatever that distance is there, and however deep it is back there. And I'm just going to put it over the soffit. Uh, no, it's not going to hold it all out. Uh, it's just to help. Possibly in the summer, I have some insulation down at the other shed. I'll see if it has not gotten wet if it's not wet and it's still totally dry then i'll throw that insulation on top of it that'll push it down uh, i even uh, thought about changing out that solvent to a solid soffit rather than the soffit that has the holes in it whichever uh but also uh what i also got going on here is as if you notice here i got a panel here a long time ago i purchased <laughs> i purchased this kit this is an insulation kit for a garage door. I don't remember what, where I got it at. I, you know, one of the big box uh, lumber yards, and uh, it's just called a garage door insulation kit. Looks like this one's a uh, plymouth foam. Uh, I don't see a manufacturer on it, but uh, it's made to be slid in, and literally. I went ahead and put one of them in. They are the exact height that you need. And it's it's very close on the width across there. I did shave off just a little smidgen piece there that's on the ground to get it in there. You, you do have to push it to get it in up under. It gives, it's flexible, it's foam. Not really flexible, but it's flexible. And you can pry it in there. I'll try to get a video, but I'm up here by myself and I don't have a tripod. So I'll try to get a video of showing me putting one of them in. They snap right in. It's a good project. I didn't need an insulated door whenever I built this shed, nor did I want to pay the price difference whenever I was building this shed. And so I bought that kit. I can't remember how much it was. I'm sure it was under $50. So I'm, I'm thinking it was probably about $25 or something like that. I really don't know. I'd have to look it up. Uh, but uh, yeah, that's what I'm doing today. I'm trying to get warm and trying to keep it warm. Uh, as far as airflow goes out here in the shed though, uh, one of my last projects I did do that I didn't videotape was, is if you see up there, yeah, there she is up there. I put an attic fan in and that fan is up in my, in my gable vent. So I have a gable vent too. So that lets cold air in also, it, you know, it's just how much, you know, really, you know, it's, it's a workshop. I don't even have electricity up here yet, but if I do get electricity up here, then that'll run off electricity. Uh, it's thermostat controlled, so I set it on what temperature I don't want to get over in here. So I don't, I don't want to get it over, you know, 110 in here to you know, where it might hurt stuff. Then that vent will come on, or well, that fan will come on and blow the air out and get some airflow in here. So, uh, yeah, I mean, nothing technical, but uh, it's also not stale air in here. So, uh, like right now, I have the. Uh, general on outside which you can probably hear and so it would probably kick on if i went up there and actually uh, 
actually uh, uh, hit the switch on it or set, set the temperature control. I think I can override it until it say on, but I don't want to do that because it'll suck a bunch of cold air in here and suck all the hot air out. So we're not going to do that. But uh, let me show you how hard it is to put one of these uh, garage door insulation. So if you've got a garage door and it's not insulated, you can get one of these kits. It's easy peasy to cut it, to cut that foam. You can use a knife. I'm looking for what I used. Oh, so, uh, so I used a machete. Believe it or not, these things cut very good, as long as you keep a good edge on your machete. So I just use this. I don't cut hard. I just use it and just run it down. Cuts right through it. The main thing is, is how, how deep. So I've got enough I got enough depth to get all the way through that board. If I was using a box knife, it's only going to go about halfway through it, unless I take the blade out. Then I'm holding the blade, eh, you know. And I've had these, and I've used these before on insulation, and they work great on insulation, like pink insulation. It's a huge house. Use your machete, just run it down it. Don't use the serrated edge, you'll make a mess. Just use the knife edge. So uh, take a look at me uh, putting uh, one of these panels in and uh, you can do too. Watch out. All right, so here's a piece. So if it's all the way in, it's, it's going to be short, but I'll cut it. So I'm just going to get it down in the bottom. The top is about a quarter of an inch short, so I'm just going to push down and kind of bow on it, and uh, it kind of goes in. It's fully in over here. So I'm gonna push it back up in here that gives me more distance there. I'm gonna push it all the way over to here. So it went all the way back in there. Gives me a little bit more room. I'm gonna go ahead and cut that off. Like I said, we're gonna use the machete. And I'm just guessing where it's at, really. It's as easy as that. So, as you can see, that took me not even five minutes. So, less than an hour, I should have this door done. It'll be a little bit more complicated behind the cable. Might take the cable off, but other than that, easy project. If you don't have an insulated door, a very inexpensive way to get some insulation on it. Not only does it keep out the cold, but it'll help in the summertime also. So, uh, easy project. You can do it, and I know you can because I can do it. So, uh, another tip for you, another trick, another project. Hang in there, like and subscribe people, and uh, follow us along our journey. See you later.